I'm gonna change his mind, don't you? Look at the first piece. Mm hmm. You can't do this. Hi my peeps, what's up Wagwan? Welcome back to your girl Tiona in the house. Now guys, I'm going to make some Jamaican banana dumpling. Alright, so guys, these are good green bananas. But you know what, with your Canada, we have to put them in the fridge. So you know, so, you know, color and all off. But a green banana and them good. So I'm going to peel them and then I'm going to come back. Please remember to leave me a little bit of like and subscribe for other amazing content coming your way. I cut them up, alright. So now, I'm going to add them to the blender. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, and now I'm going to put 1 cup of water. And now guys, we're going to blend. And it's just room temperature water. Okay? Alright, just like that you want it guys and now we're gonna use it to make the flour okay I'm adding one cup two cups three cups of flour and I'm gonna keep a little bit on hand now I'm gonna put some salt I'm gonna put about half teaspoon you can put a teaspoon if you want And that's it guys give this a little mix and I'm gonna pour my mixture in let's pour half first and we're just gonna mix it together okay? you're not gonna add any more water all right guys this is the water all right pour the rest and this will give you about, I think, two cups, guys. Good, guys. You don't want no more. I have a pot with hot water. And I'm going to put a little bit of salt. If the salt something can work, sometimes it doesn't work, guys. Anyway, put some salt. I'm not going to cook a whole lot, guys, so I have some potatoes I'm going to put in there. Also, I'm going to put one ripe plantain cut in three. If you find out the plantain cook before the potatoes and the dumpling, go ahead and take them out and put them one side. A teaspoon of olive oil. I to put oil in my pot, guys. Guys, can you see how soft it is? Ooh, plate the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Now we're just gonna make some. Make them to your liking, okay, guys? So, squeeze it and put it in. You don't have to make them that big. <laughs> And that's what left making a little roll up and you want to give your pot a little stir cover it and let it cook okay I'm gonna do this jack mackerel okay and I'm gonna add this baked bean first we're gonna put about two tablespoons of olive oil we're gonna cut up the onion one onion Put the onion in the oil. Garlic paste or some people say minced garlic. I have some scallion or green onion. 
you know, everything frozen here. We're gonna pour a little bit. I'm gonna cut half of tomato. Put that in there. I have some bell peppers. I have some frozen um, bell peppers. I'm just gonna take the red ones out. A few of the red ones. Red pieces. Look at that, guys. My husband said he put two pimento seeds in the guys. I don't know how he loves pimento seeds, so. Guys, this is how Jamaican people multitask in the kitchen, all right? I always strain off the excess oil on the top, okay? So we're gonna pour it here. Boy, three good sized pieces. I'm gonna take out the bone from the middle, okay? This piece of bone, we don't want it in. We're gonna remove this, all of it, okay? So squeeze it up a little bit, guys. All right, guys, so after, I'm gonna pour it in here. We have shake out this in a very little bit of pot water, pot soup, like that. Okay, crunchy cooking, mix it out. You know, why we have the good gravy here, so guys, pour it in. Okay, you can break it up to how you like it now, not too much, just a little bit. Okay something like so and you're gonna stir that here guys i have some scotch bunny pepper you know what i say when you cook fish you have to put pepper in it yes yeah, you are you know you go if you have kids don't put too much i think that will do i don't fry it up in the oil first guys because i tell you after that catch your eye once you cook up this just like that, this is good to go. What do you think, my husband? You look good? Yeah. I have my baked bean, all right? And this one is in tomato sauce. Guys, my mama taught me, you see all this water? I then use to preserve it. I'm going to strain out all of this. And you see, we're going to pour this in. All right, guys. Give it this a little stir. Oh my goodness. And this is it, guys. You can use ketchup if you want and put like a tablespoon or two of ketchup. No, this is my honey garlic, Diana sauce. And I'm going to put like two teaspoons. This is going to add an extra flavor to it, guys. Try it and tell me how you like it. And this is it. That's it. A little more black pepper and we're done right here. So put a little bit of parsley flakes. My husband said, don't make it dry out. Because he want the gravy feet, the dumpling. So, turn off the stove. Can you see it? A little bit of olive oil. Not much. A little bit of scallion frozen. Frozen bell pepper. And I have another. A little bit of my garlic paste, about a tablespoon. And now I have one can of um, Kalaloo and I'm gonna cut it and drain it out. I rinse it off too guys, I add some water and rinse it off. Remember to close the lid. I'm gonna taste it. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt because I rinse it out. And a little bit of black pepper. And that's it, guys. And I'm gonna put my pepper. 
guys i'm gonna put one maggi all-purpose um veggie stock here to give it a little flavor okay all right guys we're just gonna let this fry up for a few minutes and it's all good all right planting cook dumpling ready potato soft let's take out some dumplings we're gonna do two potato too two will do one piece of planting two on one all right i'm gonna take this out of the skin all right peel it from the skin like that guys i'm gonna set it here and that's it that's what i'm serving up all right guys look at this goodness we're just gonna take up a little and put it right here let's put it right here look at the goodness i'm gonna grab some of this vegetable color look vegetable this is a final result and this is my husband's dinner right ready to dive in yes i know all right i'm saying one well, um banana dumpling you know guys my steam callaloo and some cook up grace jack mackerel a, a grace i think a grace jack mackerel in baked bean or with baked bean and some irish plantain and um some banana dumpling guys if you have yam on them something there breadfruit mm -hmm, add some to it all right guys love upon me and i love upon you this is my home cooked meal mm -hmm. bye guys